Hi guys, good morning. <sighs> Trying to stay calm. <sighs> I've got an issue to address, actually many issues to address. There are many of them. But let's start from somewhere. This is a day after I posted my video and um, I got a lot of views and before I know it, even a lot of likes. Before I know it, it reduced from 70 something, over 70 to 10. And then this morning, it reduced to 8 likes. Before this time, I was discussing with someone that is an expert with all of these things. And he was telling me how it works. So even, even before discussing with this friend of mine, I'm very pissed now. I'm just trying to calm down, really. Um, I've complained it a number of times that YouTube, even every social media platforms that I've used, that I know that it has happened on Facebook, it has happened a lot on YouTube. Even there was even a time last, more than a year ago, that I, I posted a video during the Vlogmas time. I think that was like, um, what year are we? 2022. So 2020 ending, like during the Vlogmas. I posted a video, videos that period, and I will be seeing something like 10, 12 views. Why other people are seeing over 30,000 views? I got screenshots of that. Like, I don't understand if it's why whoever is in charge of the internet is very corrupt. I don't understand why I will put so much effort. That's why a lot of people work and then give up. You're killing people's dreams and that's so evil and you're going to pay for it. I don't know whoever is in charge of YouTube. I don't know if it's according to the country or stuff. And even I've noticed since I came to this UK too, even my sisters traveled and they were able to get a lot of views when they traveled. But when they came back, th their views got restricted again. I don't understand why this UK is so corrupt that they want to manipulate people's personal lives. That's how it happened in the hospital. I was going through mental health stress issues and instead of these people to help me they started monitoring me and still they did not see help so what are you looking into my life for if you are the one that is the one that is even causing more problems for me so let me tell you according to my bible and this is not a cliche talk according to go read psalm 2 it will tell you where you're going where you belong and there's a part in psalm that says the destiny of the wicked and of the good. I wanted to check it, but I couldn't remember the chapter. But I said, I'll just mention it here. Go and read these Psalms and see what is going to happen in your life. You cannot be messing with people. Like, a lot of people have given up. I cannot give up on my dreams. That's why, that is why I'm, I'm here. That is, that's the reason for my existence. Just like, your reason for your existence is to frustrate people's lives. I will frustrate you. Whoever is in charge of YouTube... Like, who gave you the permission to be frustrating you small YouTubers that are supposed to be working hard and becoming like others? Like, you are putting so much effort, so much time and energy to creating nice videos. I always make impactful, interesting videos from the very start. This pushed me into depression, aside other things that, that happened to me before and all of that. I'm working so hard and you are spoiling my work. What does that mean? I don't care. Your policy is always very wicked. It's always in the disfavor of people and most times it happens to be the black community. Let's not lie about this. I don't know why. I don't even know what even caused this black and white thing. Why, why do white people think that there's a superior feeling? I don't care what my ancestors have done. They have sold, <coughs> they sold their people for, for some rubbish sugar. I'm not my ancestors. I've broken that curse. You can't, you can't come with, to me with that. And to anybody else that does not want to fall into this line, I cannot work so hard and you spoil my work. That's so disgusting and demonic. You're working like a devil and you're going to go where devil goes. You're going to perish very early. Why would you, why, why would you frustrate the work of other people? I don't understand. From 777 views to over 70 likes in two videos. And in a short time, are you so jealous or what? I don't understand whoever is in charge of this thing because I don't see the same energy in white people's channels. I don't know why when you see somebody that has potentials and the person is black, you try to suppress them and frustrate them. I understand since I came into this country that this country has not been working so well, especially since 
since I went through the worst period of my life, I, I said it even, I got so many revelations about this country, that this country is an antichrist country. When I look at the flag, I see an upside down cross. That is an antichrist. This is an antichrist country. It's very obvious to me by many reasons. The way people behave, the way they always drink and wasted all over the place. That is demonic. Everything about this country spells demons. It's very, I've gotten it. This word, is this word, is it not, it's people that want to rule the world most is like demons. But me, I did not come here for demons. I came here for myself. I came here for God, mainly. And I'm here to enjoy life to the very core. The Bible said that I should enjoy my life. And I'm going to enjoy my life. You that is the YouTuber, I mean the controller of, I don't know why this country likes to manipulate people like this. They like to be in control. You're not, you can't be in control of my life. You do that to other YouTubers. Don't try that with my work. Because Thunder will fire you. I work with Thunder and Lightning. Eh? It's not a joke. You don't play with people's lives like that. You don't. You don't mess with people. Because you don't know the causes that you are putting on yourself. You don't care, but you are going to still get it. I don't give a damn that you do not care. How would I work so hard and with all my heart? Make, create a very good video. You are already frustrating me before. Spoiling my views and making it look like I'm doing rubbish. A lot of people say that they watch my channel. But I don't get the views. I don't see the views. And yes, it doesn't reflect it. And you took it down. Reduce my life. Make all the work that I did to go so low. What does that mean? I don't care about your policy. Because you don't care about how I feel when I, work, when I do so much work. Why should I care about what you, what you said as a policy? I can't follow all your laws. We are supposed to be working together as a team, not against each other. You get? And that's the reason why the YouTube is there. I cannot be on YouTube for many years working hard and another person is spoiling. It's not quite possible. It's not possible at all. Co possible. Non è possibile. I can't work so hard and be looking and be seem like, like I'm a fool. What? I've noticed this thing before. I have noticed this many times. People have sent me screenshots of so many views and I will see a different thing reflecting on my channel. Whatever demon that is controlling these videos, I'm talking to you now. You better stop before thunder strike you dead. Whether you are a human being that is being controlled by the devil or whatever, I don't care to know whoever you are. Be very careful with me. You cannot frustrate my own work. Oh. You can't do that anymore. Never anymore. Not anymore. If I put my work up, just leave it. Don't go and reduce it. What is the need of somebody working out and another person is spoiling it? That means two people are the ones purposefully increasing the views of white people's views or people that you prefer to be on the limelight. You are increasing their views and reducing who you prefer. You don't prefer these views. Really? That's what you people are doing now, right? I work hard finish and you spoil my work. Not possibly. I will frustrate you instead of you to frustrate me. Do you understand? So whoever is in charge of YouTube, be careful with me. Be careful with my work. Just leave me out of any... You are doing that rubbish with everybody. Leave me out. They can't take it. I will not take it. I can't take it. Eh? I know it's a corrupt word. I don't care whatever word you are in. Me, I'm in my own world. So leave me and my thing alone. Don't spoil my work. You can't. You're not permitted to. You don't have any right to. Your policy, 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 this policy, that. All the things that you do is only bad things. Only devilish things. Demonic things. That's all you are interested in. Don't go and give your life to Christ. Too. Wait until, they, until you are dead or, or until you see yourself in hell. What's rubbish? Why would I work so hard and you spoil the things I do? Since I've been keeping quiet. It keeps repeating. This is why I was working the other day in the city center and I was coming across all of this statues of people that they killed and all of that nonsense and the spirit of god reflected to me and be like mm, these people have not even apologized for the things that they have done because it made me reflect back on slavery or all the innocent people that they have killed before and all of that and, and the spirit of god was like if these people do not apologize for what they do their country will sink into the drain and i was like say instead of these people to apologize because the english people me i know the english people are very proud if you if you talk about devil, they are proprio like that. They can't even say thank you. When you work for them, they can't even say thank you. Be just because of my, my forefathers were slaves. You think I'm a slave of yours? Don't that fire you there? 
I'm not your slave. Oh. I can never be your slave. You will be my slave because that's how time, that's how time does. Time turns things around. And I don't need any of those things of drama of being slave or no slave nonsense things. But leave my work out of your mess. Don't touch my work. If I work, you leave my work the way it is. Don't spoil my work. Because you will, you, will, you will draw the wrath of God upon yourself. And even my own anger is enough to destroy you. Talk more of if God's anger. Be very careful. It's not everybody you mess with there. Eh, I don't tell you. Like I was saying, I got this revelation like while passing this. And I was discussing this with I was like, these people, instead of these people, to, instead of these people to apologize, they'd rather die. These people are so proud. And the Spirit of God was like, okay, then we are going to see. So if you people like, I'm using this, I don't want to talk about this thing because, before because I know how people will react. Proud people, I know how they react. I know, I'm very familiar with every form of character. Extremely, I'm, I've studied everything in this life. I'm very, very familiar with those things. So if you like, don't go and apologize. You have to apologize, lay a public sincere contrite hearted spirited apology to the black community and to those that you you colonized as a nation i'm talking to english now to the nation you have to lay an apology for the for the wickedness you have ever done for your country not to be destroyed i've told you i'd never want to mention this before because i know how proud you people are i know i'm very familiar with you extremely familiar oh my jesus if you like lay an apology or you watch your country go down the drain and you must it must you must be very very sorry ah you see the way they describe people um, apologizing to god in the days or in the olden days of the way them wearing sack clothes crying and not wanting bad to continue happening in their country and all of that you're going to do something extremely similar unless you're going to be the slaves of the people that you made slaves in the past this was the, this this was the revelation I got. This is not my own thinking. I can't form these things by myself. I never wanted to mention it because I know that human beings don't listen. They have never ever listened from the very start. They always human beings always claiming gods. That's how these English people always claim a lot of a lot of proud people, not just English people. They are always claiming gods. They are always claiming like, do you know who I am? You are in my country. All this nonsense, God will reduce you to nothing. That's how God humbles the proud. It makes you nothing. I've given it. Don't touch my work. That's my own. Don't touch my work. If you touch anybody's work, don't touch my work on Auntie YouTube or Uncle YouTube. Whoever is controlling YouTube or monitoring people, people's work, don't touch my work. If you don't want problems in your life, I've warned you. Because I don't understand.